We're almost at the theater now. The metro entrance should be pretty close. But however small the distance is, we'll have to cover it on the surface. And there, every step you take could well be your last. Chuvak, we're here. Pull yourself together. We don't have long before nightfall, okay? Okay, with the tunnel collapse, the only way to reach the escalator down to the other station is cross the surface. And trust me, we don't want to be caught out here in the fucking dark. Opa, we're in luck, Artyomich! This place seems lived in. Rangers probably, I don't know. And when there are rangers? Shit! Short on filters. We'll have to make do. Now come on, take what you need. We're all brothers in the metro. Hey, Prieti. I could use a good watch like yours. Knowing how much air you got left is a must, huh? You know, I've heard of things roaming around that even bullets can stop. You have been through some bad shit, I know, but not like what's coming. Artyom. Remember, if you want to live, don't drop your guard for an instant, okay? Whoa, that's impressive! I heard about this place. That plane was headed into Moscow when the whole city caught fire. Uh, the building where it crashed, that's the entrance to the theater. The ice is towing up here. It's almost like spring, huh, Artyomich? Maybe we'll live to see the summer. Wait, 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 wait. There's got to be an underground path somewhere around here. The rangers would never cross the square out in the open. Okay. We could walk down the wing here. Okay, so much for the sun. Those clouds moved in fast. out to the light. Check that service room. You okay, Chuvak? You're all covered with blood. Oh, fucking 
go from here. Let's look for a passage through the plane. Uh, I've heard stories about this place. Weird shit happens here. Search for any gear worth taking. I'll cover you. To the emergency hatch. Hey, try opening it. I'll give cover. Jumped. Oh, bleh. Let's try together. Move. Look, Artyom, don't lose your head in here. You understand me? Okay, let's go. One ranger told me this was a flight from Mallorca. Family is returning from vacation, you know? You know, Artyom, I've never been to this city. Or even in a plane myself. Yeah. Oh. Wasn't meant to be. I feel... I don't know, I feel... Weird. <laughs> Chuck, are you seeing this shit too? Artyom! What is this? Shoo, my you! Look! They're alive! What happened the hell was that? Shit! We're losing power! Don't get over the tower! Flight 76715 here! What was that crash? Mayday! Mayday! Ask them! Shit! The tower's gone! Tola! We're going down! Speed! We're going down! Speed! I can't get out of here! Oh my god! Shit! Shit! Keep me out! What's going on here?
Сука, блин, someday a creature like you will take me. Not yet. Okay? Well, так у вас. Looks like they were all of them. Watchman, as soon as we moved away from the plane, and we were almost there, huh? Get ready! We're moving in from the second floor! Theater is around the next corner. We have to move now. Follow me faster, faster. Come over here. Go. Give me a hand. Faster. More are coming. We have you gonna find the entrance. Above you. There you are. Shit! Too many of them! We have to warn the station! Get to the escalator! Hurry up, now! Move down, they're still after us! Open up! Open up! We can't let us in, you bastards! Go down! to dead Moscow, the phantom of the past, is over. Pavel and I helped each other out again and are returning down to the metro as real partners now. You can't survive the wastelands any other way. But now ahead of us lies a populated station, the theater. It's very close to Polis. If Pavel manages to lead me through the red line guard posts, I'll be home in less than an hour. Okay, come on in. Sorry about that. Dangerous times, right? We're going up soon. Are there many watchmen around? We were lucky to get here. Okay, there's a nest in the building by the wrecked plane. Yeah, no wonder it's such a bad dream today. Oh, you want a nightmare? Well, it's waiting for you up there. No sense going with just three men. <laughs> Artyomich, so, if it's culture you want, the Bolshoi is up there above us. All the actors who survived are here. Well, people come from all over the metro to see the shows they put on. War refugees... The Nazis are getting ready for war. How could this be? We've been in the wreck all our lives, and now we're freaks? Uh, this happens all the time. The boss is busy now. Wait here, please. So, that's our plan. The station next to this one is Revolution Square. One of us. Red. And Revolution is fitting distance to police. So, I, as a good communist, which I am, will vouch for you. They'll have to let you through. And you'll be home in no time. What do you think? Are you the one they just told us about? Yes, we are. Great. Come in then. So, my Spartan friend, have a look around. There's plenty to see here. Everything is fine. I'll talk to my people and find you. Welcome, and have a good rest. But you do understand that we can't wait here forever. She's having a breakdown. We spent 20 years at the Reich, and now we're freaks. Look, I don't make the rules, okay? Who does that? 
Bullets to the last surviving theatrical critic. Bullets for mercy on your souls. So, young men, I see you like my witty sign. There's a place for everyone in this underground. Murderers, whores, tyrants, money changers, and even peasants, for Christ's sake. All are welcome here. Even lousy actors. I live in a theater where we breathe the miasma of the decaying Balfour. This station is overpopulated with the ghosts of the opera. But is there a place here for the best critic of our once great country? Hell no. I tell the truth. And I am repaid with insults and poverty? I say, you are a disgrace to the name of Bolshoi. And they reply, now Bolshoi is us and us is our home. They will set in you the trees that you find your lies. When all around is radiation, death, decay, and endless war. Wow! There is a really appetizing Is it something did you come back? When? Where's Vidya? Why didn't he come over at once? Why? What happened? Vidya didn't make it. How? just like a real thing. A demon appeared. We all hit the ground and shot at the demon until it fled. No one suffered the scratch. But Vitya didn't get up. And my dad saw lots of demons. We're right, Uncle Misha. This is a demon. So Nikitish, when do we become your father? Have you got enough money to last a week? Well, come back if you need anything. Bullets! Bullets! Purchase! Exchange! Sale! Buy insurance for your safety! Protect yourself and your loved ones! if you'd be so kind. The can -tap. this before. I feel sorry for the other performance now. Their attempts at impressing the audience might fall short after such a spectacle. But <laughs> I trust they will handle the race far of our expectations. And thus, our incredible show continues. This man spits in the eye of danger, challenges nature, defies the god of his new world, and proves once again that humanity is a master of all. A warm welcome for Leonid Burley, our animal trainer extraordinaire, with his uh, terror of our city. <laughs> Impressive victory as human intelligence triumphs over the mutants. Speaking of mutants, even our station has heard the rumors of new species that were encountered at exhibition. 
Fearsome beast, black as midnight, invincible, able to induce madness in anyone who saw them. But even those were no match for human ingenuity. The guys at exhibition had noticed they were growing the wrong mushrooms. <laughs> when they went back to the traditional recipe, the new mutants were gone like morning dew. Let us cheer for the heroes at exhibition! And tonight's show goes on! It is time to bring a lyrical move to our show. We give you the genius of chamber music, the famous accordion player, Kolya Pajarny, with his masterpiece, My Heart Reaches for the Sky, but hits the ceiling and falls down the bottom. A round of applause, please! Song will never sound the same. Your music is such a stream with so much power. And thus, our incredible show continues. Today, I have the honor of presenting to you the hottest, the most explosive act this side of Atlantic Ocean, the most scorching spectacle of today, our fire show. A round of applause to welcome the performers. Please, please. Mind-blowing, incredible, simply incredible. If a tiny bit too hot, just a couple of degrees higher, and I'd be charmed. <laughs> Thank you, dear friends. Thank you. But I must say that however hot that was, the girls were a bit hotter still. <laughs> Guys, you've got to answer the challenge. Try using the flamethrower, perhaps. <laughs> And yet, we have more, dear audience. Please welcome the Arpeggio Virtuoso, the God of Legato, and Demon of Tremolo, the favorite student of Mel Bay and Vladimir Manilov, the premier guitarist of the New Age, Viktor Minchuk with his fantasies. Please welcome our Virtuoso. <laughs>
more of this ecstasy and my heart would ignite, my life would start dancing, and my soul would go straight to whatever it's heading to. Thank you, Victor. Ladies and gentlemen, I must announce a change in today's program. To our sincere regret, our visiting magician ran out of ladies for his sawmill act. <laughs> but never fear. We have filled the gap with greatness. Your complete attention, please, as I present the birth of a legend. The Minchuk and Pajarni duet with their instrumental impromptu, the Song of Songs. A round of applause to cheer our great musicians on. <laughs> innovation of the century. Incredible. Completely incredible. My left ear is still ringing. <laughs> You've just heard the virtuosos of the Mosca underground. The duo known as Minchuk and Pajarni. Our dear audience. This sad moment always come, no matter how often we wish you would not. But our show for today is over. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have enjoyed your company. Thank you, and please come again. Maestro, give us something emotional. Goodbye. Farewell. Parting is such sweets. Artyom! No? Enjoy the show? Sorry, man. Time to move on, you patron of the art. Oh, Pavel Igorvich. So glad to see you. Where have you been? You don't like us anymore? Helen, no, что? I'm, I'm totally in love with you girls, but I've been busy with work. I'm, I'm very, very sorry. I'll come back soon. I promise. Jana, let me use your powder. In your dreams, you have your own. Use that. It's no good. Why can't your boyfriend buy you something better? Her boyfriend is cheap, that's why. Artyom? No. Artyom? Looks like you're a bit woman hungry, huh? Well, yes, yes. It's a hard life without a soft woman, I know. Refugees again. More refugees. What's going on? Anyways, I tell you, we should be going, but uh, let's drink to the fact we're still alive, huh? It's on me, okay? Specials from the old stock, been infusing it for half a year. Opa, that's great. So, let's drink it to him. Smooth stuff, huh? And this is a good place, but nah, home is the best, you know? You know, I've traveled all over the metro, and people talk all kinds of shit about the red line, that it's awful there. There's no food, that we shoot comrades for nothing, and you can't even tell a joke without getting arrested. Wait, let's have another drink. Here goes, Artyom! Wow. So, <clears throat> yes, our life is a bit strict. One party, one leader, one ideology, but we have order. And everything is shared. Food, medicine, fuel, shelter. No rich men, true. But no beggars either. 
Another drink. And now, to equality. Come on, Artem. No, 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 no. Pay that now. Ooh, хорошо прошла. Ah, uh, where was I? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, look, look at the far stations. They freaking eat each other. Sell their kids as slaves. It's like the Stone Age. Death to his own devices, a man becomes a beast. You know, order, order is all that matters. That's, that's our salvation. So you can believe whatever, but I am red. I am red until the day I die. I drink to order. Blin. Come on, Artem, come on! Bottoms up! Bottoms up! So, my friend, that's how it goes. Don't be mad, Artem. Just doing my job to protect the red line. And you, Musketeer, are from the wrong side of the barricade. Private, take this comrade in. Yes, Major, sir. Yes, sir. Comrade Major. It is private.